you insist. Whoa, that's harsh! He must really love those things! He's back? Okay. Sonic! No, no, it'll be did right. you get those animals back from Eggman? Uh, just the one container he tossed off his Eggmobile. What? Wait a minute! Just the one? <laughs> Weak! I would have gotten them all back by now! Save the rest of them! Hey, what? Oh, Let me go. I hate to think on, what Eggman's I... doing to those poor things. I'm on it! Transformation 101. Bunnies to bad things. Boom! Instant army. It needs to be a big army if I'm taking over the world below. You are quite a mighty conqueror. Yes. Yes, I am. I conquered you, didn't I? And with your help, I'll not only rule the world, I'll finally destroy that blue nuisance, Sonic. Eggman wants the little hedgehog destroyed. Oh, yeah, well, I feel like destroying something. That's what I like about you, Zaz. Always ready for a fight, even before you know what you're fighting. <laughs> you bet! Bring it on and I'll rip it up! <laughs> Win or lose, I learned something about our enemy. Hey! I've been looking for you, Baldy McNose Hair. Who are your friends? <sighs> friends? These are nobody's friends. They are the Deadly Six, and they are your worst enemies. Zaz, show this blue pest how you do things up here. <sighs> With pleasure, I've been itching for a fight all day. <laughs> I think you're itching because you need a bath. <laughs> Are you disrespecting me? Maybe. I'm gonna mess you up! I'd love to stay and watch him disassemble you, but I have business to attend to. <laughs> I know the perfect spot to take care of you. That's funny, because I know the perfect spot to kick you. All right, we good to go or what, Tails? Hmm. I've built a TV out of paper clips. Yeah. And reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I know. So look, fixing a propeller on a biplane, that's about as difficult as taking a nap. Okay, I didn't need your whole life story. A simple good to go would have been cool. All right. Good to go! Cool! These animals are quite underwhelming. I'm disappointed in you incompetent fools. Violently disappointed. We don't care about your disappointment, master. Do you care now? <gasps> Take care of that blue pest. Hi. Who are you calling fat? You. Now, if you hurry and destroy Sonic, I've got an even bigger sandwich. Oh boy, that would hurt! Hmm, 
Power levels green, Orbot. Power levels stable. Extractor activated. Stop, boss! I felt great! The machine is unstable. We just want to borrow some of the planet's energy. We don't want to destroy it. Speak for yourself. One word of helpful advice. Diet and exercise. Diet? <laughs> Three words! Hey! Whoa! I think I'll have you for dessert. Don't talk with your mouth full. Yeah, right. Hey, I forgot the mustard. I'll be right back. Hey, where do you think you're going? I hone your abilities. I equip you with the most powerful mechs I can create. I even give you a giant sandwich. And you still disappoint me. <laughs> I'm a compassionate hmm. man. That well, shell that looks like talk. trouble. Hold on a second. Sonic! Uh, I think that thing in Eggman's hand is... Gone! <laughs> Eggman's shell is gone. <laughs> That was a mistake. Whatever. When is it a mistake to take your toys away? When it's the only thing keeping six angry Zeti from controlling my mechs, you moronic hedgehog. Strike, <laughs> 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 huh. uh, uh. brothers. Make the bull pay. Shiver me I hate to run away from a fight, Tails, but I don't want to see you get fried. Not getting fried would be nice. Warbot, Killbot, we are leaving! Yeah. Oh man, I should have listened to you, Tails. Oh, you think? Alas, poor Cubot. I knew him well. Arr! Me voice chips all cattywampus! Thanks to Sonic, everything's gone cattywampus. My cacophonic cock was the only thing keeping those six maniacs in check. Some sort of a natural inhibitor to their powers. Very painful. And very rare. The Zeti have an innate ability to manipulate magnetic fields. They can make electronics, including my mechs, do interesting things. I control those powers with the conch until Sonic punted it away with his typical stupidity. Well, get lost, Eggman, and let us get things under control. I hope the Zeti eat you alive, you meddling hedgehog. Okay, if it pleases the court, all those who think Eggman is a total bonehead raise their hand. Well, here you go, folks. The motion is passed unanimously. I didn't raise my hand. It would seem the peaceful days of tending my garden will have to wait. While I take care of these matters, the rest of you cannot. Please, Master Zick. This is not something you should trouble yourself with. It's beneath you. Now, don't be concerned. It'll be good to stretch these old bones. Uh, 
I tested the blue one, and he's more powerful than I anticipated. He shows much potential. Who cares about him? Now that I'm free, I want to squeeze Eggman until he pops! And eat him, I suppose. Uh, well, yeah. There are better ways to make him suffer. But more delicious? What would you say if I told you we could destroy Eggman's world and use its energy to make ourselves unbelievably powerful? Well, I would say that I had taught you well. Yes, you have. And it will be Eggman's own creation that causes his destruction. <laughs> Whoa. Huh? Your time huh. is almost over, Rash Hedgehog. I shall prepare for you a lesson in respect. A painful lesson. Oh, someone's gonna get taken to school, all right. Follow, if you dare. We have a mutual problem. One so large that it will take both of us to overcome Whatever! I told you, we can handle the Zeddy by ourselves! That may be true, but the rebellious swine have gotten hold of a device of mine, and they're using it in ways for which it was never designed. Uh, what was it designed for, Doctor? <clears throat> it was supposed to extract energy from our world, but the machine is unstable! Once it reaches full power, it can't be shut off. It will drain our world dry. Oh, so that's what Amy was talking about. And you just want to go smash it, don't you? <laughs> well, yeah. <sighs> what? It's what I do. Oh, always your answer to everything, Hedgehog. If you wish to create a cataclysmic explosion that will incinerate everything within a hundred miles, please smash away. So there's no off switch? No, not anymore. I need to get to the machine and reprogram the shutdown sequence. I'll supply the brains. You will supply the brawn I need to get past the Zeti. Oh, and you're asking so nice. <laughs> Good one, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Man up, Tails. I don't like working with my most hated enemies any more than you do, but our entire world is at stake. Yeah, well, teaming up with you feels like the end of the world, Eggman. I don't want to take a long shower by the time we're done. Whoa, overcompensate much? Man, how many military factories does a guy need? If you weren't always destroying them, I wouldn't need so many. And done! Duh! Thanks for fixing me! No problem. Sorry you got stuck with a voice chip that looks like it was built by a two-year-old. I think I liked it better when I was trying to destroy you. Yeah, well, feelings mutual, Eggface. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Before we start destroying each other, let's remember why we're working together. Okay, please remind me. Tails, we need Eggman to shut down his machine. And you don't trust me to do it. What? No! I trust you, Tails. It's just that... No, you don't. You trust Eggman more. Do you know how much that bites? I do trust you, Tails, but the whole world's in danger because I did something stupid. You know how much that bites? Actually, nothing bites more than having to listen to this dreadful conversation. Hey, hey man, man! You, you bite! bite. Why are you still here? I'm just getting ready. Well, you seem to be taking your time. Well, it is my time to take now, isn't it? But what if I told you that you were the only one I trusted to be fast enough, oh. smart enough, mm -hmm. and pretty enough to beat the blue nuisance? Well, I'd say you've got the right girl for the job. Well, that was so easy I almost feel guilty. That was cool. Pun entirely intended. Your efforts.
Bullets are impressive, little hedgehog, but you are destined to fail, as the fat fool has failed before you. I'll get fat from eating your black hearts, you Eggman wannabes! Whoa! Your threats are almost as amusing as your mustache. I must commend you on your invention, though. We get stronger and stronger as we leech the life from your dying world. Yeah, I've noticed. Where are you gonna live when your world's dead, guys? Oh, right! You've been dead, too! <laughs> too bad for you! <laughs> I will burn your world, you rebellious scum! I will destroy everything you love and make you rot! No! 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 <laughs> Boss! Your hands! As long as I can still strangle a Zeti, my hands are fine. Move it or lose it, Snow Cone! The last time we met, you ruined my nail art. Now I have to reapply a whole new coat. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Mm -hmm. I am so, so sorry. Oh, well, in that case... Oh, no, what I meant to say is, I'm so sorry that you have nothing more important to do in life. Oh, you're gonna pay for that! As soon as my nails dry. I am getting tired of lugging your head around, pal, so I made you a snowbot body. <laughs> I can't feel my legs! <laughs> True! Your robots are a reflection of your genius, Dr. Eggman. But this does give me an idea! I think I know a way to cause the lost hex to implode using null gravity effects. We could destroy the Zeti in one quick stroke. And exterminate every living thing around them. Are you out of your mind? Of course, there'd be some collateral damage, but... Collateral damage? What kind of monster... Tails! I'm sorry. I suddenly felt very mean. Not the best idea to put the dimwit's head on a battle bot. In hindsight, I gotta agree with you, Doc. Thanks for the save. Um... Can you get off me now? I can't figure you out. One second you're contemplating genocide, and the next you're saving one of your worst enemies. I'm a complicated guy. And you? What were you thinking, Tails? You could have gotten yourself killed. I was just trying to help. Sonic is more formidable than I anticipated. Yes. He would make a powerful slave. Eggman taught us how to make robots. So we'll make the Hedgehog a robot. Excellent plan, Master. I'm sure you would have thought of it yourself. Given time. Time. Something Sonic is running out of. Something's not right. Huh. Must have missed this one. Sonic! It's a trap! Tails! No! Those rotten, sneaky... Tails acted for the greater good. Let's make sure his sacrifice isn't for nothing. I'm supposed to be the fastest, but I was too slow to save my buddy. Sigh, everything seems so pointless. Hey, what did you do with Tails? What? Seriously, we captured you. You wish? You grabbed my friend and I want him back. Man, this day keeps getting lamer and lamer. Whatever. I gotta go tell the others the bad news. <laughs> Giving bad news is actually the one thing I enjoy. I'll deal with you later, loser. Sonic. Huh? 
It's time for... Um, how come he's not blue? <laughs> you incompetent fools! I cannot trust you with the simplest of tasks. All right. We can work this to our advantage. Somebody messed up royally. Because we don't have Sonic. We know! Look at him all, I'm so fast and stuff. Ugh, makes me sick. Time to knock him down a peg. If we don't find your friend, can I be your sidekick? What? Shut up! What kind of question is that? I didn't mean anything by it. I just thought it might be better to work for you than Eggman. Hello, I'm sitting right here, you know. Orbot, no matter what happens, I won't fail again. I will save Tails. It's stuff like that that makes me want to be your sidekick. Tails is lucky. But seriously, I'm right here. I can still hear you. Hello, Sonic. Yeah, I've been looking for you. And we've been looking for you. Unfortunately, we found your friend Tails first. Hey, you heard one hair on his head! Well, don't worry. We're actually making him better. He'll be much happier as a robot. <laughs> no! They're gonna turn Tails into a robot! That's horrible! Oh, I don't know. Being a robot's not so bad. From where I'm sitting, it is a nightmare. Who thought that putting this bucket brain's head on me was a good idea? me for the last time. You will be the instrument of my revenge. Yeah, it'll be fun to have your little buddy scramble you like an omelet. <laughs> omelet. Enjoy your last moments of free will. When we return, you will be our slave. I've built a TV out of paper clips and reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I'm not even gonna need the detergent for this one. <laughs>
Amy? Knuckles? Anybody? Huh. tired of you guys. Don't be so whiny, man. That's my deal. Give up now and join your friend. Tails? Man, when I get my hands on you guys... We promise you will be happy in our service. <laughs> I'll never serve you. I was hoping you'd say that. Destroy Sonic. collected from the extractor, I can rule the world! Pity about the damage done down there, but there's still enough left for me to conquer. The only thing that's gonna get conquered is your face, Eggman! You never needed Eggman, right? I could have turned this thing off myself. Sorry about that, Tails. I'll never doubt you again. It's cool. Oh, and here's something that even Eggman couldn't do. I just reprogrammed his machine to return our world's stolen energy. In your face, Eggman! I'll be back, Sonic. I'll find another conk, and the Zeti will be mine once again. Only next time, I'll make them stronger. <laughs> Honey, why isn't my jetpack working? Maybe because I borrowed the exhaust hose? <laughs> Sonic! Here's your energy back, world. Bon appetit! Like springtime's come early. <laughs> Thanks to you and Tails. Well, I would have wrapped this up sooner, but eh, what are you gonna do? <sighs> you know, after a day like today, I can enjoy a nap on some fresh green grass.
Your face is... Yes, your face. It is good to see your face. Uh, boss, your face... Is a little dirty. Let me wipe that for you. No being weird. Let's get out of here before my day gets any worse. Uh, why can't we tell him about his mustache? Uh, I think it's better to wait until he separates our heads. Then you can tell him and get all the glory. Great, thanks! What's wrong with my mustache? <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> 
What's happening guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Sonic Unleashed for the Wii in the last episode or we were in Apatos and I think I left wait yeah, yeah, I was in Apatos. What, what am I thinking? And for some reason, I thought I was talking... No, we were in Adaba. Yeah, I knew I was going retarded. I was like, what? What am I talking about? I'm a crazy coop, crazy guy. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think what I meant to say is that we're going to head to Apatos in this episode because I actually recorded some of Adaba before, but then it was too balls deep for me. I legitimately got a game over, and I don't think I could go on without more lives. So... Looks like this is going to be an extra video. Doesn't look like we're going to be progressing in this game any further until I get at least six lives. Wow, I haven't seen you in a while, Sonic. Where you been? Sonic! Anyway, wow, he feels really jaggedy. But anyway, that's what you do. Now that we have a lot of moon and sun metals, we can go back to these doors. Uh, once you hit the dark, you will turn to the warehouse of the axe, basically it's nighttime. And here we go, the first door that we've entered so far. So, let's explore, see what we can do here, and get some lies, hopefully. I don't see lies here, but, yeah, it looks like we got soundtrack. I know Hidden Possibilities is in a sore, swear, some sort, a sore, yeah. But anyway, while I'm doing this, I'm going to talk about stuff, guys. Um, so, as you guys know, in the last, well, in my Kirby episode, I kind of said that I was going to record Mario Kart 8. As you guys can see, there is no Mario Kart 8 on my channel because I just never got around to it. I went to GameStop, I was just like, yeah, um, I don't really feel like it all of a sudden. And I really didn't get any confirmation until like last minute, so I was like, ugh. So I was like, okay, I feel bad now. I should have just recorded it just because, but I was just stupid. So I'm sorry for that, guys. I really tried, but I can give you my opinions on that game. That's as far as I can go. And what I can basically start off by saying is that if you played Mario Kart 7, you're basically going to get, you know what you're getting into. Uh, the only thing I could say that really is affecting the gameplay and stuff, um, sorry, I had to like take a breath right there. Oh my gosh, I forget to breathe sometimes. That's not good. But anyway, uh, the only thing I would say is that sometimes, well, the bikes are definitely my favorite in the game, even though they're not as like cheap as like snaking and stuff like that. The bikes were definitely my favorite to play as when I did play the game. I don't know, something about that just felt right. Um, what else? Uh, the bikes were my favorite. The graphics are amazing. Nintendo did a really good job. Even though I only got to play like 10 stages. Um, I did have fun playing what I did. And I got to play two players, so I can confirm that two player does really play in 60 frames per second. I don't know about four, because there wasn't four remotes. There's only like two there. And uh, me and Differentiate, we played against each other. I won a few, he won a, most of them. <laughs> to be honest, I, my body wasn't really ready for any of that. But here we go, an extra life. That is good. And I keep itching my nose. I don't know if that's going to affect my audio in the end. It better not, because my nose really itched right there. 
Uh, but yeah, we got to something extra live. But anyway, Mario Kart definitely worth the money. Uh, I am gonna get it, re not release date, but I'm gonna get it soon. And if you guys do see me online, please try to challenge me or something like that because uh, I probably will get bored and stuff. But hey, look at that two lives. But yeah, it was it was a fun experience. I enjoyed what I did play, and I hope that you know what am I doing? I'm like, okay. Yeah, when you're done there, just die. You you don't lose a life, but you do get out of there pretty quick. And everything you collect stays with you. So, let's see. Alright. And we're going to do that. I could go to, like, the secret, secret extra gate. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like anything else around here was unlocked. So, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go to the map so I can see easier where I have to go. Okay, so that's those down okay we might as well go to uh spagonia next we might as well just get like most of the lies i'll probably just go to like yeah spagonia i'll probably just go three stages and end the episode off there and then we can continue on story mode next time i record some more of this game but yeah my schedule should be cleared up more anyway continuing on mario kart 8 in the last episode uh yeah no, i'm not doing this old dragon ball z stuff anyway yeah i mean it was fun but my main complaint was that the ish the item systems like it's almost OP. The amount of, I got hit more by green shells than red shells. That's that's a problem. Uh, the green shells hitbox are extremely large. The green shells are like bigger than you yourself. So that I don't know. That's just like a complaint of mine. I just felt like like even in one race we were doing with me and differentiate. I got freaking gang banged. I I got hit once. I was like okay that's understandable. It's Mario Kart. I'm gonna get hit. This man. Someone rolls up behind me, rams me with a red shell, I get wrecked, okay? And that's not even it, I get hit by a green shell, then, oh my gosh, then, okay, what happened then? Okay, a boomerang hit me, and then after that I was in 8th place. And the thing is, this game, I don't know if it's just me, because I'm good at Mario Kart 7, I can pull myself, like, online, I can pull myself from, like, the bottom, and I can end up in the top. This game, I could not do for the life of me. And freaking, what is it? I could not get back up. I, w I stayed in 8th place for like the whole race. And I don't know. That that was a problem for me. I don't know. It just was a problem for me. It, it was very frustrating. And I couldn't stand it. And differentiate was like laughing at me. and ah. It was just overall a really cheap experience. I did not get to check out the battle mode though. But to be honest, I never liked battle mode in the first place. So... Me checking out battle mode wasn't really going to be like, whoa. Yes, okay, so as I was saying, uh, there was no battle mode available. So I couldn't actually get to participate in it. But what I did play was pretty amazing. And you know what? I'm pretty much stuck here. So I'm just going to, yeah, okay. Okay, all right. The battle mode wasn't there. The items were OP'd. And... Despite Nintendo saying that, oh, the Super Hornet is super rare, I got it two times, and I never got the boomerang once. Not once. Differentiate did, though. That's because he's him, and stuff like that. He's lucky. Uh, yeah, so, I was pretty mad about that. That was something I really want to try. I got the Piranha Plant, though, and I got the Super Hornet two times, like I said. And I did play on different tracks, like Toad Harbor, and, uh, what is it? Uh... Uh, water park and stuff for you guys that actually follow Nintendo and stuff like that for that kind of stuff Wow, I just noticed something that I never noticed before there's actually I'm really pissed now Out of all my years of playing this game I never know there was an open gate right there and I can place the box down and jump on top of it. I Did not realize that that was not occurring. Wow, and I always try to be like a retard. Wow I'm like 5,000% done now Yep, yep, I just made this a heck of a lot easier. You guys are welcome. Alright, that was it for uh, this. I feel like, no, there's still more. But wait, there's more. Um, What you have to do here is that you want to die. I don't think that makes you collect everything over again, does it? Because if it does, I'm going to be really mad. Okay, no. You still keep the stuff that you collected. Okay, good. So we still have the extra life. Uh, what we want to do now is that we want to take this box. We don't want to do anything, actually. Uh, can we jump with that? No. Okay, I want to take you. Alright. Walk over here. 
We're going to put this down. All right. And we're going to jump. And there we go. The secret mission number three. So there you go. You got everything. And now you can drop. I just love that. Doing it. And I know I don't lose a life. So now we're at five lives right now. Which is a really good position of what we want to stay at. Or be at. Uh, let's see. No other doors unlocked. As you can see, usually when they're unlocked, they glow and stuff like that. So we're going to head out. And we're going to go to Africa. Yeah. Missouri. And then I'll call it an episode right there. Maybe I'll do like like a uh, uh, lost I know I said I was going to be do, like, doing a hardcore let's play but I, I changed my mind that, that's too much too much for me but yeah that's all I could pull up on Mario Kart 8 at least for my raw experience that's my main focus the controls are really well um like I said I, I just prefer like the drifting with the bike than the cart I mean once you use the bike you don't go back and the bike is not exactly as OP'd as usual but, yeah. But, anyway, I'm I'm playing Sonic. I, I just realized that. I'm playing Sonic, so what am I talking about Mario Kart? I just feel like that should be cleared up. You guys were, like, hoping for some Mario Kart gameplay. And I know a lot of people don't actually watch my Kirby Let's Play. Because uh, Sonic is actually the most popular thing on my channel. But why wouldn't it be? Because Sonic is amazing. Um, where am I going? Okay. Yeah, I still don't know where I'm going. Okay, over... Okay, that's grabbable. That's good to know. Okay, so it's off. It's obvious that we have to go over here. Uh, we have to use Sonic for that. Sonic, Sonic, not this guy. Could you not? I'm just really mad that my last recording just flopped because I can't. I don't have. I didn't have enough skill. And what? Eh, okay. You know what? I'm done. I, I quit trying to make logic. This is Sonic Unleashed. There is no logic. Okay. I'm like jabbing my controller right now so I can move. Okay, that was a good nice... That was a nice save trick. I'm pretty sure if I was skilled enough, I can jump all the way over there with the... Weird hug! All I gotta do is go back to normal Sonic. I keep itching my nose. That's like gonna really jack up my audio, I think. Hey! There we go. And since we pressed that button, we really didn't need that, but I'm doing it just for 100% completion. Well, not 100%. I'm not, no, I'm not 100% in this game. Uh, we better get up here before he goes back to regular Sonic. Okay, uh, you want to crawl. And, uh, yeah. I think you want to get a refresh on light. And there you go. You are done. And my friend, you should have at least six lives by now. Uh, just so you guys know. So let's get out of here. Okay, that was weird. Um, I really want to leave, though. Alright. Run. And we're about to go back to Werehog. I don't like Werehog, Sonny. So slow. And that will be it. And next time we can continue on story mode. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode. I know you did enjoy it, so please leave a like down below so I can upload more so I can unleash to your favorite Let's Play. Uh, you can also share with your friends so others can know about this amazing playthrough. And subscribe for more content. Also, uh, I do have a show on this, but I'm not sure how to make more shows. So just subscribe to the show. I, 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 the show's cool. And then it'll keep you updated on every time I upload more of this. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.